drawn off from TechCrunch, and we're talking a little bit about Google Glass today. Uh, there's a lot been said about it, mostly on both sides of the coin. Either it's revolutionary, it's going to change the world, and people will never take them off, to it's scary, it's crazy, consumers will hate it. There hasn't been a lot of talk in the middle, which is what Google Glass really is right now. And what Google Glass is, is a, is a device that that will cut some corners for you, help you along with some directions, give you email notifications, text notifications, let you share a photo. I've been using them for about three weeks and I wear them about four hours a day. It depends on how often I'm outside. Obviously, I don't wear them when I'm in front of the computer. That's a little redundant. Uh, but so far, uh, so good. I, I don't really notice them as much the more that I've worn them. It sits right here above my right eye, so it's not in my field of vision. I haven't driven with them yet, but for the walking directions, it's super helpful. And I know some folks that have driven with them and have ridden their bike while, while wearing them. Um, the other thing that people talk about a lot is privacy, and is, is it weird? Um, so far, the reaction for me has been fine. I, I wear them in New York and Kansas City and here in San Francisco, and there's general curiosity, people asking to try them on, um, or, you know, one bartender did ask me if I was videotaping the whole time, but um, that's just, you know, some education, and we talked about it, and, and once people try them on, they realize that it's, it's not a spying device. It's, it's more of a relaxed, calm technology that just lets you know when things are going on. So I'm going to go outside and we're going to go get some coffee at the creamery and we're just going to use some of the features that I use on a daily basis. All right, we're going to head over to the creamery, grab a cup of coffee. So we're going to ask Google Glass for directions. So I just stop here and say, OK, Glass, get directions, the creamery. So the turn by turn directions pop up. I can look at the whole route or I can just let it guide me. So we'll move on. So as I'm getting directions, all this can be running in the background and I can get things like, you can hear it in my ear, it's telling me where to go. I can get other things going like uh, New York Times headlines, right? Now it might look a little weird walking down the street doing this, but you get used to it. So once I come upon a New York Times headline, I tap, hit read more, it'll read it out loud to me. Now clearly these aren't things that I'll be doing and stopping and spending a lot of time on, but it's information that I can get while I'm on the go. So meanwhile, this has been running in my ear. I also have an email. So once I get across the street, I'll see what that's about. Meanwhile, if I glance up, I can see the directions guiding me. We're going straight, so it's not a big deal. I can change over to walking, driving, or biking directions, which is pretty handy too. While I'm walking along, I can also get my email, which will just flash up in front of my eye. Nice thing is, I can have it read it out loud to me just by swiping through. And then as it does that, I can listen to it. Email from Danielle Pickford. Subject, message via your Google profile. Sounds heading good. to San Francisco. Message, Andrew. Heading down to make our fair next weekend. So I can reply to it, of course and then uh, Google Glass will then record what I say. Hey, I'll definitely be around. Let me know where you want to meet up. Maker Faire is actually right by my house. Google Voice picks up everything that I said, transcribes it, sends it in an email automatically. The creamery is only a couple minutes away, but if I see anything that's interesting, taking a picture is super simple. I can just tap on the side right there, or I can actually tell Glass to do it for me with a voice command and say, OK, Glass, take a picture. Same thing. There's a couple apps that have popped up for Facebook and Twitter that are allowing you to share the photos on those services, as you can only share them to Google Plus right out of the box. As this fire truck drives away, I could easily shoot a video by holding the button on the top right. It takes 10 second videos by default, but if I tap on the side, I can extend the video and it'll shoot for as long as I want. So that's, that's the one thing that's gotten people a little bit freaked out. They wonder if you're recording all the time. Honestly, if you were to record for more than 30 seconds, the battery would probably be dead. We're getting around three or four hours of constant use on these things, but uh, especially if you're using GPS. So I'm shooting video. I've got GPS going in the background. So, so this thing isn't going to be around and working all day.
So now we're here back at the TechCrunch offices, and, and those are just a few of the things that you can do every day with Google Glass. Um, it's, it's still going to take a while for it to be a consumer device. I mean, Google has said that they want to get these in the hands of consumers by the end of the year. That may or may not happen. Uh, but I do know that as apps pop up daily, ones allowing you to share to Facebook and Twitter and such, um, that's when the magic's really going to start happening. Google Glass is a platform, much like the iPhone was a platform. And there's a lot of things that are going to have to happen first, like prescription. What if you wear glasses? I wear glass, glasses, but luckily I can see far away. Uh, so I don't need to wear contacts to use Google Glass. I mean, right now you can, you can add the sunglasses, but eventually you'll be able to uh, mix and match your frames and things like that, and it'll be more of a fashion statement. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how developers move along with the platform. More should come at Google I.O. this year. And um, until then, you really can't make a decision either way. Is it life-changing, world-changing? Is it a bust? You can't tell. But it's pretty handy for now.